Now at five, another update in our continuing coverage of the Pike County murders. Today, Billy Wagner was in court. He's the final member of his family to go through that trial for the murders of eight members of the Roden family. So in November of 2022, George Wagner IV was convicted on all 22 counts against him, including aggravated murder following a lengthy three month trial. His brother Jake and their mother Angela both confessed to their roles in the murders and eventually pleaded guilty to all charges. As part of their plea deals, both agreed to testify against the other two in exchange for prosecutors removing the death penalty for all the Wagners. So today, the judge in Billy Wagner's case announced that his trial will begin in January of next year. A Roden family member lashed out, saying that her family has been waiting nearly eight years for justice. It's been a long time. Our Mike Shell joins us now live from Waverly, Ohio, with the very latest and what happened today. Mike. Yeah, Megan, we are approaching the eighth anniversary of the brutal massacre here in Pike County, but we will be closer to the ninth anniversary before the last Wagner's case goes to trial. Billy Wagner has been held at the Butler County Jail since his arrest in November 2018. He is transported to Pike County for every court appearance. He maintains that he had nothing to do with the brutal murders of eight members of the Roden family on April 21st and 22nd, 2016. Retired Brown County Judge Alan Corbin first set a May 6th trial date, but granted Billy Wagner's motion to delay it for nine more months. These reasons are not good enough. They're not good enough because I just feel like that our family's case, this one especially, has been put on the back burner. The reasons for the delay, according to the defense, include a few Wagner defense attorneys have medical issues. Wagner's main attorney has a death penalty case in April. The defense just received 16,000 pages in transcripts, and Wagner doesn't want to start his trial until all his attorneys are present. I apologize, Your Honor, to the Roden family, Your Honor, that we're requesting this. We looked at everything realistically, and we, we just can't be ready for that May 6th date. The victim's family in this case, you know, has been dealing with this and, and wanting justice and closure since, you know, April of 2016. Prosecutor Angie Canepa says Wagner and his two sons, George IV and Jake, drove to the Rodens' homes on Union Hill Road and executed seven Rodens and then drove about seven miles east to kill Kenneth Roden in his mobile home on Left Fork Road. Reluctantly, I'm going to have to grant the request for continuance. However, I do know that the uh, Roden family probably isn't too enthused about this, and I understand that. I apologize. When surviving Roden family member Wilma McCoy heard the judge's ruling, she stormed out of the courtroom shaking her head. Seen here at the 2022 sentencing of George Wagner IV, 81-year-old Geneva Roden, the family's matriarch, rarely comes to court due to health reasons. She takes one day at a time, one day at a time. And now she has to wait? Now she has to wait another year. Will she make it? Almost nine years, almost nine years. We will be in a decade before they're all found guilty and sentenced. So the new court date for Billy Wagner is now January 6, 2025. The prosecutor says that date is set in stone. Reporting live from Pike County, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Mike Shell, thank you.